pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey guys, Happy New Year 2024. Amazing. My name is Isaac. I'm here going to be covering five stories in a quick amount of time because it's freezing outside. Um, I Spice turned 24 years old on the 1st of January. Drake was the number one most streamed rapper on Spotify of 2023. The most streamed song on Spotify was Flowers for Miley Cyrus with 1.67 billion streams. That's a lot of streams. Mr. Beast gained 99 million subscribers in 2023. Good for him. And uh, Ryan Reynolds is in Deadpool 3 playing Deadpool. That's some pretty cool news stories for you. I hope you guys have a great year. That's really it. See you guys. What's up, friends here? Happy New Year. Uh, we have a pretty great um, national news update regarding 22 states. Unfortunately, not Massachusetts, but our minimum wage is already pretty good right now. Um, but minimum wage in 22 states um, is being raised. Uh, and that started on January 1st. Um, and it'll help around 10 million workers, which is a really, really good thing. $6.95 billion will be given in additional wages. Um, and in addition, 38 cities and counties will increase their minimum wage as well, um, which will help a lot of workers who aren't receiving the wages that they might need. So that's really, really great. Um, and yeah, we'll keep you updated on the story if there's any more news to come out about it. An Air Japan plane in the Japanese airport had a collision with another plane and um, both planes were engulfed in flames. Five people died, but luckily um, the Japanese plane, all 400 passengers got out safely. Uh, not so fortunate, the um, Coast Guard aircraft which was involved in the collision, all their crew members died. What's up friends here? We have some unfortunate uh, global news regarding Japan. Um, at least 48 people have been confirmed dead after a massive earthquake um, and dozens of aftershocks struck Japan's western coast according to local officials. An earthquake with a preliminary magnitude of 7.5 struck at about 4.10 p.m. local time on Monday um, and it hit the peninsula along the Sea of Japan. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty bad earthquake. There's a lot of damage. Um, there's uh, funds that are coming in to help the damage in Japan. Um, but yeah, we'll keep you updated if there's any more news about this that comes out. Thank you so much. Hey guys, I'm back and I'm going to be talking about those Stanley Cups. Yes, the one that everyone seems to have. Those ones where you put beverages inside of it. Stanley Cups. Did you know they're making limited edition Stanley Cups for $300? I don't know about you, but if you ask me, that's kind of a waste of money. Um, Oh well, I just thought it would be pretty interesting to report because we have such a high population of Stanley Cups in this area. Have a great day. Hello guys, I'm back again and um, I'm going to be reporting about some bomb threats that have been forcing evacuations across different state capitals across the United States. Um, multiple states were forced to evacuate their state institutions on Wednesday after receiving bomb threats. The FBI and other local and federal authorities believe that it could be in connection to the January 6th event that happened a few years back where the bunch of the uh, Trump rioters stormed the Capitol building. Um, that's really it. It's not very good, uh, but hopefully it gets resolved. Thank you. Have a great weekend. Do you want to be the news? Yep. Well, do you want to be the news? Frontier's student-written and student-produced newspaper, The Red Hawk Report, needs you to write for us. We will publish any of your relevant things that you make. Art, uh, newspaper articles, comics. What else can we make, Chris? A lot. A lot. 
anything you want that is school appropriate and relevant to our community, we will publish in our school newspaper, the Red Hawk Report. Or we can assign you something else and you can write about it. We meet every Tuesday in the LMC classroom in our place that we call the Journalism Center. It's called The Nest, just for the record. Um, and we want you to write for us. So come visit The Nest or contact me, Julia Walkowitz, or Chris Penza to write for the Red Hawk Report. Go Hawks. I'm here with the uh, Dragon. We're going to talk about some of the boys' basketball. How's the uh, practices been going? Um, you know, practices are great. You know, we're just trying to get better. Uh, we started off a little rocky, but, um, you know, we'll get back on track. we got a good team. I like our team a lot. we got a pretty good schedule, so, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll figure things out. <laughs> When's your uh, next home game? People need to uh, show up. Uh, our next home game, I'm, I'm not sure, but our next game is Thursday against Hopkins at Hopkins, so make sure to be there. You know, everyone's going to be there. Eddie will be there. I will be there yeah. at one point, but... It'll take me a while, but I'll be there. Go. Hello, Frontier. I'm here with Will Petrin. Varsity hockey player here, Will Petrin. I heard about the big dub last night against East Hampton. So, over time, what was going through your mind? Well, I mean, uh, we were up 3-0, and then we t they uh, tied it in the first period. They went up 5-3, and uh, they had to put some pucks in the net. So, I'd say worked really hard and all those days of just kind of skating and yeah. all that stuff. So who was your MVP of the game? Probably Jake Jurek. Shout out him. Shout out to Jake Jurek for the MVP from uh, Will Petrin. Thank you. Hey Frontier, it's Delaney and I'm here with Varsity Girls Captain Molly Gates. Molly, how's your season looking? Uh, it's going pretty good so far. We're 6-0 and and we're doing very well so far. When's your next game? Uh, we play Greenfield at Greenfield tomorrow, and we have a home game this Friday at 7.30. Thank you, Molly. All right, I'm here for a sports update on the girls' basketball team with uh, Claire. How's the uh, team been doing so far? We're doing pretty good. We're 7-0 and right now. We just beat Greenfield last night, and we play Westfield Friday. That pretty much summed it all up. Thank you, Claire. Hi, Frontier. I'm Iris. I'm here with Leah. Nicole, Una, and they are some of the members of the indoor track team and they're going to tell us how their season's gone so far. We're 2-0 so far. We've had one meet and we're looking forward to our coming meets. Awesome. So how's the team looking this year? We're looking really strong. We are carried more by distance this year than by sprinting, but that's not a bad thing. Awesome. Yeah, um, our next meet is at Sunday. Oh, on Sunday <laughs> at Smith College. Okay. So, yeah. What, what time? Um, Two? Two. All right, everyone, everyone pull up. I think. You think? All right. Nice slim. Thanks, guys. Down. Hello, Frontier. I'm here with John. And today we're talking about your New Year's resolutions. So what's top of the list as your resolutions? To go in the bulk and gain 200 pounds for football next year. So what would the football coaches be thinking of that? I think they would love it. They love that idea. They like their big linemen. Yeah, so... Are you gonna be growing anytime soon? Cause like, linemen, they're supposed to be like this tall, aren't they? I mean, size doesn't matter. It's the player. All right. Thank you, Frontier. <laughs> All right, I'm here with Parker. We're talking about New Year's. So Parker, buddy, how do your uh, New Year's go? Pretty good. You do anything fun? Uh, just stayed home. Yeah. You uh, have any like family over or anything? Yes, yeah, it was my stepbrother's birthday. Oh, that must have been fun. Uh, you got any New Year's resolutions? Working out, turning into this guy. He's getting big. Yeah. I'm not. I'm, I'm getting smaller. Thank you, Parker.